in progress. You live, yeah? Yeah, I'm live. We're live. What on, a saying, bro? on a Sunday. Sunday service, man. Sunday service. Do you know what? I actually, I, I, I actually like sometimes these. I think what the last show we did was on a Sunday, wasn't it? That's what, wasn't it? No. Wasn't it? It was, it was a Friday or Saturday. No, this is a Sunday. I couldn't do that. I remember. Do you remember I had to go? I had to go oh, somewhere. Oh, Sunday. It was that two, like two weeks ago, though. Sunday. It was Sunday. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. Because I think it was a bit early. I think it was like eleven. Anyways, um, yeah, I like. I kind of like recording on the sun on the on the Sunday shows. Um, East Coast show, man. You know, you know about Soul Sunday. Don't know about what. Sorry, Soul Sunday. You ain't got Sky, have you? No. Yeah, man, a lot of things are... Oh, it's Sunday service, man, the spoken words. You know, we bring that to the object. <laughs> okay. Oh, man, that's that's um, that's um what normally you think you say. Um, oh, what's the podcast, man? Pound Sterling. What's his podcast called? I think that's it. When is, no, when when is talking. When, when is talking podcast. When is talking, he normally says Sunday service, so I don't want to cut down it. But, I haven't, do you know what? I haven't, I haven't watched a lot of their shows. I've only seen, like... I watched the one with, like, Joe... Cheeky sport. No, their podcast, their podcast is sick, man. You know what? For some reason, I must have say John Bayega. I'm like, what am I saying John Bayega for? No, Joel from Cheeky Sport. I think they probably, they got the, probably the best podcast in the UK. I would no, say. Chucky, man. Chucky, yeah, uh, Chucky, yeah. Uh, Chucky winners talking. I was watching, that's a new one the other day, a sports one as well, man. I don't know why I'm promoting these, man, because these men are bigger than us, isn't it? But. One was scorch, wasn't it? Listen, you bro, I, at the end of the day, man, I don't care how big you are. If I like, I like you, I'll promote any, I'll, I'll say anyone if you're a big or small. That's what it's about. Yeah. Um, do you know what? In fact, do you the thing with me, like, obviously, as much as we got a podcast ourselves or whatever you want to call it, I don't actually watch that much um podcast if you think about it. I only actually kind of watch, I watch Chucky Online all what? the time, and then some yeah. I thought that are good. Like I haven't I haven't watched like you know the Express Truth podcast for for a while. And even though yeah, I like so it. funny you said that, yeah. Since we've been starting podcasts and that like, I've actually slowed down watching it myself. But like I still, yeah, like you said, I always watch Chucky online and I always watch that. I also watch Brilliant Idiots all the time, like Charlemagne and um, Andrew Shorts. It's like a US podcast, isn't it? They, they're the ones that kind of inspired, inspired me, man. Like Tax Stone, bro. No, if you don't know about Tax Stone, no, free tax on it. They inspired me to do podcasts and Since I've been podcasting, I've kind of slowed down on it, man. Do you know what I'm saying? Because there's so many as well, bro. Like that's the big thing. That's the big. That's the that's that's been. This is a new. This is a new like popping industry, man. It's very competitive as well. What you know do you call, what what industry what industry would you call it? That's interesting. Because if it's not a big thing, you're frozen. Not, no, you're frozen. Yo, I don't know if you're frozen. I want to still speak anyway. Oh, you're it's frozen. Shit, damn internet, boy. You're frozen, bro. I can see you. Yeah, but it's podcast and shit, bro. It's a media industry. You know, everyone's gone. I want to be a rapper. Yeah. Can you hear me? You lagged yeah. out for a sec. No, I could hear you. Could you hear me the whole time? Yeah. Oh, you was just like frozen. You was frozen. I said, like, you know. Oh, I said like you know, or even to this day, even to this day, bro. People are generous. You know, when you grow up, you want to be a rapper, fam. So people, people will be going up now. I want to be a podcaster. Man. I want to be a podcaster. I want to be like Joe Budden. I want to be like you know whoever. You see, Joe Budden, yeah, the thing is, that's funny because you know how rappers are known for their beef and then they end up having beef over their, over their podcast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Rory and Mel, no, they, they actually do sick podcasts as well. I watched, and this is the first episode, they're actually sick, man. It's actually low-key better than Joe Budden's podcast. Do you know, I don't, do you know what, to be honest, though, for, like, audience out there, anyway, I don't, I don't even see myself as having, like, I don't see myself as a podcaster. I just see myself as someone that just comes in to talk talk rubbish and talk the truth <laughs> that's what it is i mean i haven't got a we ain't got a mic because it's on zoom so is that even a, i thought is that meant to be a podcast without a mic no i don't know it's like an official statement and like, you know what i'm saying yeah. when you got the mic, when, I, when i bought the mics yeah i thought what's the shit you know yeah, like, you that blue the blue lighting and everything and now but yeah man i lost, lost a couple of episodes where we tried to record some flipping issues bro mm. 100 um yeah so obviously last week yeah so also i said i said on the instagram story page that there was going to be no show because at that point you, 
I mean, you was you wasn't you wasn't free. Um, I was I was free, but last week, man. This time last week, man, it was. Uh, it no, was without pretty... going into de- without going into details, and my man's been going through that sticky stuff in my life, and but we're patching it, man. Like my head was just absolutely gone. Obviously, I spoke to you a lot. We was in Bournemouth last week, and I don't know. I spoke to you. I said like, man, I just hit that rock bottom in it last last week, and. Yeah. Like absolute rock bottom. I still feel like recording and then for like doing nothing, you know. And then we'll see. Man needed that little break, innit, man? Man needed that little break, that little to like recharge my batteries and all that. I think you did as well, fam. Yeah. Like, funny yeah. enough, like basically we were supposed to go to this, we were supposed to go born for a couple other people. It didn't happen, innit? And then we scheduled it for the weekend afterwards. And then I was looking, I was like, fucking hell, man, I actually need this, bro. Like, I actually need this, fam. Like, it's only not moving this, you're going this for pleasure, fam. It's more like to get my head clear, innit? I hear that. And, while we're, and then while we're there, yeah, <laughs> I was like, to notice, bro. I think you're, you're going there for the same reason as well, bro. You know what you I'm know, saying? It's funny, that because in my head, in my, in my, in my brain, yeah, I felt, I felt completely fine. At first, mm-hmm. when I went there, it's like, you know, you know when you're doing, you're moving, you're moving in a certain way, right? And you don't know some. It's like you don't know it until someone points it out, and they and they start bringing out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight examples, and you're like, it's only then when you when they told you that you're like, oh, was I actually doing that? Oh my god, yeah. Oh, I haven't. What? I'm doing this. I'm doing that. When I first came in, I was to be honest. Before getting into that, into that yeah. I think that was, a, that was a sick weekend, man. And we only went just two of us. We went to go for like five other people, four, four, five other people, right? And as a two, it was sick, man. Yeah. Yeah. Still, I, yeah. I generally enjoyed it, man. Like every every day and all that kind of stuff. I, I, no, I, I, sorry, carry on, carry on, bro. Carry on, carry on. I was even, I was even, bro, I, I, to one point, I. <laughs> You know the ones where you just enjoy. I, I I even extended my my day. I I, I paid for another day, man. That's like you know I'm staying. Let me just whip up the money. Yeah, I spent going like he was at a board fam. I spent seven nights, bro. Room only, you know, no 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 um all inclusive and all that fam. Like, this guy doesn't know when to stop fam. <laughs> Do you remember? Fingers, over, fingers bro, I don't even pay me, man. Folks, I came back to London first, in it, fam, and then yeah. I realized like I already kind of got like a dislike towards London anyway. And I realized, bro, I was like, you know what? This guy's actually onto something, fam. And like, Bournemouth might be the spot, you know, fam. Bro, it was like a utopia. Nah, I wouldn't go that far, bro. <laughs> bro, yeah, it did, man. It was even said the utopia. And I was even in Bournemouth. That was in pool. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, but while, while I was out there, bro, like, mentally, fam, like, my head got so clear, man, literally, man. Mm. Like, it was actually very therapeutic for me, man. Yeah. When you were... Was- you know, it was in Sharkies, because we that time we were in Sharkies, isn't it? And it's like the football, even the atmosphere, it just felt clean cut, man. It slaps, it doesn't slap the same when you're here, man. It was just slaps different out there, bro. Like, obviously, it was near the beach. It was, actually, it was actually quite hot that day as well. It was near yeah, the beach, you know. And I was saying to you, bro, I said, bro, like man belongs here, fam. Man belongs. I need to be near near the coast, fam, near the shore, fam. I want to have sand in between my toes and all that, bro, and my ass crack and all that drink. <laughs> Get Sam, do you know what I'm saying, bro? I need to be hearing them seagulls every morning, man. I need to see them blue skies, man. I need to be dipping myself in the ocean and all that, but not waking up, bro. Hearing I'm, sirens, all that, fam. That I hear that, you know. But the thing is, it's all on seagulls, man. I'm still waiting for my good luck because I got. I don't even know yeah, what I'm on the camera, on, but I, I, chat right I, on you. Lucky then, lucky then, shit on your face, bro. Oh, uh, I think it literally think get my you, right bro. right shoulder, and I got. I got splattered on in it, and yeah. I was like, "Raw!" And I was like, "Hold on a minute." We was, we was in no, we was in um, the beach. I was walking in it, and I was thinking, "That's not rain. That's not just a sudden drizzle of rain." And I looked at my phone. I was like, "Oh my god, man!" So good luck, fam. Man. man called his marge to get confirmation. It's like, "Yo, it's like good luck." <laughs> I had to just like I thought it was. I thought it was a joke at first. I was thinking, "Good luck." I just got pooed on. How was that? Good luck. I got, and it's a white shirt as well. And it's, yeah. that shirt has been that apparently I didn't even know that shirt is older than me. Apparently it's actually from yeah. Italy as well. That's a shirt that I like a lot. I had to go and I had to like you know wash that nastiness off 
and then obviously when I get home, do it properly. And it, faithfully, it all came out. It's all completely good. And yeah, luckily, did not touch my head. That would have been so, so peak, man. Yeah. This guy, this guy came prepared, fam. Yeah, the, well, I mean, I, come prepared, man, all the time. The, when I leave my yard, bro, like, I never have, like, a bag on me or a pouch or a rucksack or anything. Like, only if I'm staying at someone's house or something like that. Yeah, but you, fam, this guy always comes prepared, you know. Yeah, you know that I'd like, you know, wipes and all, 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 all that stuff. Happen to have it. I always get banned by people saying, oh, why are you always bringing a bag? Why are you bringing a bag? And now you know why. I don't, I don't actually carry a lot of things in the bag. It's just things like tissues, wipes. I don't know, just general stuff. Do you know what I mean? I always feel like I need something, even if I don't use it. Like I bring, I bring cream in the bag as well, for whatever reason. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring a comb. I bring them just to comb my face with my beard. Do you know what I mean? I'll do. I'll bring all that stuff, and that's why. Because if you didn't have that, what were you gonna do? You know, not that I've been so peak, man. You have to carry that 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 shirt in your hand, and you're walking around with wear a shirt full of like bird bird poo or seagull poo, whatever that is. Yeah, them kind of things are not great. But speaking of, not even just the time we, yeah, bro. There's so much things that we did there, man. And we could have done more. Well. Went to the casino. Obviously, oh, I, I got paid bumped. while I was there. I got bumped, man. Yeah, you didn't get bumped, man. You didn't get bumped. You know, to play is it? It's roulette, red or black. Yeah, I'm not first, gonna... first time in it. Bro. First time I'm a man. Oh, oh, they rinsed me, fam. Yeah, but and I want to go more though. When I was playing it though, yeah, I was like. I can feel the addiction, you know. But I was like, I want to play this like every night now, you know. I had that. I, I you know what? I had that at first because when I went with um, when I went with like my 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 mates from uni, we went we went we went there, bro. The first time I went in, it was yeah, I'm gonna say his name. It was Jake. that introduced me to this in there. Also, I heard of the gate. I heard of it before, but I didn't actually go in there because he's like someone that was into America, and and he's like, so he did this, he did that, and he's like, oh, we're going in there. I was like, yeah. I want to go. Did you I go, to go to Vegas when he was in LA. Did you go to Vegas? Um, I can't remember. I think so. I have to ask him. I think he went there, but he played this red or black. He was telling me he's into. I don't even know. What I'm telling, him, but it's like, for example, the, the the blackjack and all that stuff. I I don't play that in person. I what the roulette. I went there with them. We I think three of us done well. The following week, I went by myself, and then I won mm. something. No. Yeah, I think I won something, and I think another time I went, I drew. I've always, whenever, whenever I've gone in that casino, I've always come up either winning. Most of the time, winning at a minimum. I came, I, I came out with what I came in with. I've never actually lost a penny in that place. I just know, do you know what I mean? So I, I feel like I feel like it's it's fun. It's a bit of fun. I doubled my money when I went in there. Yeah, and, and it, was, it was an enjoyable experience, man. Even the day, it was if we do that, even the day drinking, in it? The day drinking, bro. Like, before we went out on Cameo, obviously it was a Saturday, Aruba, that was the cocktails, bro. I, you see with me, right? I'm not even the biggest alcohol, I'm not even the biggest drinker, in it? I drink, I drink socially. I don't really drink every day, every weekend like that. I can go ages without drinking. But then, then that day, I just I just let go of everything. I just drank a few cocktails. That's one of the few alcoholic drinks I actually like the taste of. And then we went uh, cameo, and I was drinking vodka. Vodka and coke is my new flex because it's not too heavy on the stomach. Because for me, I don't know what I don't even know what drinks are best for me. But vodka and coke, I can feel the effect, and I absorb. I don't have to take the full effect of the vodka. But oh. huh? speaking. So I said, speaking of that, from you saying, mentioning cameo and all that, bro. Yeah. Obviously, man ain't vaccinated, and you know the whole the, the UK government are pushing this whole vaccines, you know, to enter that. Like, like, I'm like, you know what? You can shove your vaccine where the sun shine, where the sun don't shine, bro. Because I'm like, I went to the club the other day, and I was just like, this is pointless, fam. I don't look like you've been in so long, fam. I was just in there, and I was just like looking at it, and I was like. We're just a bunch of losers, isn't it, fam? Like, I, just, I don't know, bro. Like, I just, I just found it a pointless, bro. I was like, you, you want me to get jabbed up just to enter a nightclub, man? Well, I was jabbed up before they even talked about that, so... Yeah, like, man, but I was like, like, do you know what? I was like, I was like, let me go, let me go, because this might be the last time I ever go in the UK, in it, fam, yeah? <laughs> and I was like, do you know what, bro? I didn't, I'm not, 
like this is not even gonna convince me to go. Like, I'm like, oh, do you know what? I went to the club the other day. Like, I need to get that job, man. I need to get it. Like, you know, like my GP's been texting me, bro. Like every single day, man. I got like 18 texts saying, oh, get your Pfizer vaccine, get your Pfizer vaccine. Mm-hmm. Well, and got stuck and and since, and since you've and since you've come back, you not be feeling any any physical effects in any way. No, no man, it's bad actually, man. So I've been mixed from people as well. So bad. I was supposed to take a PCR test when I got back in it and I was completely forgotten it, but I felt fine in it. I've been fine. But still, you never know because I could just be like a carrier and like asymptomatic, but mm. yeah. I think I'm fine. I think I'm immune to it, man. You know, you just think you're Superman, bro. I think I'm actually Superman, bro. That's mad. That's mad. I, look at else, I look at everyone else as like, nah, you can catch shit, man. You're feeble and all that. Like, sometimes, uh, like, sometimes I just think I'm, like, I'm invincible against the disease, you know? Yeah. Do you know but what? Basically, what? Go on. No, nah, what I was going to say is the reason why we're talking about all this, like, Bournemouth and all that, fam, we're just saying that how important it is to, like, because you can get lost in a source and all that, man. You can get lost. Mm. Chasing a bag, chasing whatever goals or dreams you got, fam. And then obviously not everything's an easy step by step, one, two, three process, in it, fam. Like mm. sometimes you need to just sit back and just fucking clear your head in it, man. Yeah, hundred you know percent. At the same time, like for example, I haven't been, I haven't been going out much really. Do you know what I mean? So I, that's probably why I enjoyed it more. Like as first time I went into a club. No, I didn't go to Bournemouth to go into a nightclub. You know what I mean? I went. I did a lot of things there, innit? But I'm saying in that, in that, in that, that weekend, that long weekend, I should say. But um, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so so much. I think it was the first time I stepped foot in there since what, like over what over a year or something, man. A year and what? A year and two months. Mm. September, months September, September 2019. Now mine, I think mine was December 19th, the first time I went in there. But what it is, right, yeah. what it is really, yeah, so obviously it's like, it's, it's not like heavy stuff today, in it for the people back home. But what I'll say is that we're just talking, but it's, it's kind of important. So we're saying nice things, but what it is, I feel like with, would you say with people that are just like working flat out, flat out, because I like to have this idea that I want to, I want to go gun hole on all these goals and objects I need to achieve. I want to work. I want to work. Do this. I want to do that. Um, it's a point, but at some point, like life is for living, and I think people, we do, we do. Some of us, some of us that are have that inclined that way that we want to succeed in a lot of things, we t- sometimes forget that. I was talking to my friend, like he's 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 now um he's he's now um living, he's moved out. He's now living in um Bolton. And he's doing his thing, and he's and he's actually like sometimes he's working like seven days a week. Now, no joke, like he's actually working seven days a week. That's I think that's ridiculous. And even he and even him, right? He went. He said, I think yesterday I spoke to him yesterday. Like he said, oh, yeah, I went. I've been going. I've been going out recently. I went out, and he hadn't worked the next day because he was like, you can't. Because normally the natural reaction if you're going flat all the time is to be like, oh, if I do this. I'm gonna be tired the next day, but bro, if you're doing if you're doing this madness anyway, though, you're gonna be you're gonna be tired anyway. Naturally, even if you do sleep, so you may as well just at least be a bit more tired and have a bit more and have a bit of fun here and there. Otherwise, life's gonna consume. And he said that I was like, you know what? That's right. So that's probably why I enjoyed last weekend so so much. Facts. What, what was the question? What was the question you asked me? A question. Well, what were you saying? I don't know because you like you was going on to talking about um Jude, no, that was that was no, that's what he did. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, why, yeah. Yeah, that's why I, was, yeah. I was. I was asking you. I was asking you to say what, what's your like stance on like just sometimes just like just support bro. and do your it's thing. Imp- it's important, isn't it, man? Because even if you're not doing a from gun ho, like right, let's bring you to an example, innit? Yeah, this past year, like, I know you've been, you know. Go heavy in it, fam, which I really I respect that like, we both have in it, fam. And you've been doing the next intensity level in it, fam. And the past couple of weeks, I know it's like you kind of slipped off in it, fam. Mm. But I was like, I don't want to say slip off, fam. I feel like you just need, fam. At the end of the day, bro, our body, our soul, our mind, fam. They're like, it's like any vehicle, any car, fam, is going to break down in it, fam. Do you know what I'm saying? You need to fuel it back up again or whatever. You need to get repaired in it. 100. Yeah. And like our bodies, fam, they need an MOT every once in a while, innit? 
So when I, when I was when I was talking to you in Bournemouth, saying, oh, I've seen this, I've seen that, bro. You're like, you don't even clock it yourself, fam. I don't know, I've been watching you, fam. That's scary, man, but you don't clock it yourself. Like, yeah. oh. But even with me, bro, even with me, fam, even not like, with my situation, bro, it's all like, in my, I'm having issues like I didn't in my head, my headspace and all that, fam, yeah. like, there, bro. It's not even like I'm going home to sign and cause sit like it's hard to explain about going into too much detail on it, yeah. But I just needed to like get out my natural environment or habitat, whatever, go somewhere completely different, man. Because we've got to understand this from the UK, fam. There's so much more to life than just London or or just your natural or just your natural surrounding it. Yeah, of course. You didn't you know understand what I'm saying, because I was, I was watching. I was, I was I was watching it, fam. I was just flicking through TV, fam. I was seeing that like, there's there's mad parts in the UK, you know, fam. That looks like foreign countries, man. There's mad yeah. beaches, seasides, and all that across, like up and down the country, fam. You got like buried in the Devon, up in Scotland as well, fam. I'm like, fam, we just sit in one spot, traveling to one, um, you know, central site, working, coming back, doing the same thing, Monday to Friday, whatever, fam. You don't get get a, a chance or opportunity to explore. Outside of that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, well, the thing is, I don't with me. I like I like doing UK tours. People that know me, I like I like traveling. Like I'll go, I would I would happily go up north, book some place, some next hotel, and then do something up north. Because I want to go, want to go camping, bro. I saw my auntie the other day. Yeah, she's camping yeah. in summer. I don't know where she is from. She's got the big tents, bro. The big yeah. like. We went camping back in the same school, fam. We stayed in something called Bashers, innit? Mm. <laughs> some small little tents, bro. This is my aunties and some big fuck off tent, bro. I'm like, it looks like um, have you seen Harry? Have you seen Harry Potter? Couple of hours. Of course, yeah. You know, in the beginning, fam, I think that like the Quidditch World Cup, and they go in the tent, bro, and it's like, it's like a house, bro. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I want to do that. Fam. I want to go I, camping. Do something I mean, different. Something I didn't even. Obviously, off subject quickly. I didn't even like. As much like the mid two thousand Harry Potter, I prefer like the the early ones like oh one oh two. Like... What that's my um. Let's you know what I'm gonna have a Harry Potter podcast one day because if you know me, I'm a massive fan, yeah. But okay. that is the best one. Goblet of Fire is the best one. No, 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 I like that one. No, 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 no. Do you know what I didn't like? I didn't like the um Prisoner of As. How do you say it? Prisoner of Prisoner As. Of yeah, I don't think I like that one, man. That uh, what? No, no man. this conversation with you, bro, because I'm actually on a go mad, fam. They're like, <laughs> fam, basically, the, the, the best ones are one one to five. The last three, yeah, six, seven is a bit weak in it, but the one to five, perfect, fam. And we're going to have an in depth review about what the Harry Potter movies one day, fam. We're going to get some movie nerd on here to talk about that, fam. Yeah. Yeah, we could get, we could get a guest on here, someone to come on here and have a little conversation about that. A proper like movie critic, I think they're called. You know, you got movie critic, film, film critics. Uh, movie yeah, I want to get one. I want to get one nerd on here, bro. I like, even talk about Star Wars and all that, man. But I'm the guy for that. But then we'll get. But you know what? We'll get someone else to do. I want to know. I want to have a podcast one day. Do you know what, man? We might even be a sub genre of the sub of the of the Spoken Word podcast, fam. Could just be about movies and TV shows, fam. Because I wanna. No, I want to dive into Star Wars and be like, this is the most overrated franchise of all time. But wow. I still love it. Do you get what I'm saying? You're not overrated, man. Oh, it brilliant. is, bro. It is, fam. It is I love movies. Thing. I think it's, I like Star Wars, isn't it? Yeah. But it's mad overrated, isn't it? Bro, anything, yeah, but, you know what? Anything that's rated the best, someone was always going to say it's overrated, man. Nah, it is, though, bro, man. You got nine films, yeah. Out of the nine films, there's probably like three of them that are good. Empire Strikes Back, uh, Revenge of the Sith. But I even struggled to say a third one, man. Probably you not. Know Force Awakens, the one with John Biego, that was good. Oh, they're all still, they're, the new one's all shit, man. No, the last two were dead, man. But the Force Awakens, one that came out in 2015, that was decent. The rest were like, yeah, literally three out of nine. No, oh, the Empire Strikes Back was sick, man. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, what's so what's happening? Also, there's there's been um, Pacquiao, Pacquiao. So people saying, you know what? It's mad. I I actually forgot that he. Well, I couldn't. I was I was in the round yesterday. But um, also, it's a fight. Errol Spence in it, man. And Errol Spence um, pulled out of an injury. I think he's got like a touch retina or something, can it? Who I, uh, who actually won? I, I didn't even see. Pacquiao lost, bro. 
He lost, didn't it? Uh, yeah, um, your Dean is... Fuck it, I'm going to butcher this guy's name, bro. Your Dean is Uga has won, bro. Shock, fam. Shock victory, bro. And that was a pro fight, yeah? Not an exhibition fight. No, 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 professional fight, yeah. yeah. Very well. Where was yeah, last but time? Was... But I'll say, if you're Errol Spence, fam, you're sitting on the sidelines, man. You must be pissed, man. Why? This guy beat Pacquiao, fam. What was... Errol Spence one of the best pound-for-pound fighters, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm saying, who we fought, who, who came in to replace Spence? Like, he's, uh, nobody knows of him, and he beat Pacquiao, do you know what I'm saying? When was, Park, when was Pacquiao's last fight? Was it maybe, bro? What? No, I Are can't you, remember. Bro? I'm, I'm, I'm bro, bro, I'm... Did you just wake up, bro? No, he's been fighting for Mayweather. That was, like, six years ago, man. No, when was Pacquiao's last fight? Well, before this one. Yeah. Bro, he fought like last year, I think, man. Let me get his record up. Do you know what it is? Do you know why I'm? Do you know why I'm kind of in my mind for some reason he last fought like at least four years ago or something? Because he's not, he's not flipping. I don't know. It doesn't seem like yeah, he's he fought Keith. Fer- yeah, no, he fought Keith. It was two years ago. He fought Keith. Uh, Keith Furman in 2019, and he fought um Adrian Broner as well earlier that year. No, he's been active since May, brother, man. He's been active. He's no, been Pacquiao, do you know what it is? Do you know what it is with Pacquiao? He's not fighting for like the um the big belts anymore, isn't it? No, I don't think I don't that's, think that's he, all it is. I don't know. You see with boxing is belts, man. It's funny, man. Because you know, no, the reason why I know that he's not it makes sense. So I was all unknown. Bro, you know Evander Holyfield, like I think he last fought around 2011 or something. Professionally. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. Professionally against from. Probably some journey, man, yeah. Exactly, you know what I mean? But so they some of these boxers, like when they were like the best in in like one of the best oh, in yeah, the game. But Pacquiao, but Pacquiao was still fighting at a high level, to be enough. Yeah, it's still it could be high level, but there's this high level and it's high level though. But I'm saying to no, you, but no, he was you not know I'm saying he's still fighting at the highest level, fam. He's I think he's still like I think there are belts on the line, fam. Because with boxing, man, you've got WA, you've got regular belt, you've got WSBC, there's so many belts. He's still fighting at a high level, even though he's 42. Mm. He's about to fight Earl Spence. For me, for me, he's top three pound for pound. Do you know what I'm saying? If you watch, if you know, if you watch Earl Spence and you know that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, this whole weekend for Sportsman has been a bit mad, bro. Flipping. I don't watch WWE anymore, fam. But, fam, I... but there's... I, I, but, no, the thing is, we can't. No, WWE was cancelled for me. The, the, the when I found out it was fake, yeah, I was decided it broke my heart, man. Bro, I started watching it and I was like, so year five or something. No, 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 it was later than that. The last time I was invested in it was like 2011, 2012, man. It was like when The Rock, it's like when The Rock just came back and he beat Cena. And after that, I just stopped watching it because it got, it got rubbish in it. You got two. It's, it's two designed just for kids in it, but yeah, Brock Lesnar came back. CM Punk came back to AEW, and Cena's back as well. Bro, I didn't even know Cena left in the first place. He didn't. He didn't leave. He didn't like retire from WWE or nothing. I think he just obviously he's in like um he was filming Fast and Furious and Suicide Squad and all that, and, mm. and uh, yeah, he just came back in it, man. Do you know what? Probably retire soon, anyway. The last thing, the last thing with WWE, yeah, what I'll say that I was watching, and even then, I kind of just, I don't even, know, I don't remember how it stopped happening in it. And it's not even focused on like the wrestling as such. It was like you know, like the, the Total Divas reality TV show. Yeah. That's the last thing I was really looking at. Yeah. Oh, no, WWE, WWE yeah, it's peak. Yeah, I'll say it's best. It's golden years, ninety eight. No, till like 06, 07. Exactly. After 06, 07, that's when it just that's when it I died got, down. A bit. I got the last game I got yeah was SmackDown versus Raw uh, 2006. No, nah, no, nah, mine was mine was eleven. Mine was eleven. I stopped after that, bro. No, I played. No, do you know what? That's the one. That's, that's the last one I owned. Not the last one I played. That's the last one I owned. I played games after that. Oh yeah, no. the last one I played was like eleven, ten, eleven. I played more off since, but the last one I actually owned was um, the O. Funny how a lot of things for me end in 06, man. Right, that's the last oh, that's one. The year, fam. It's, it's, the, it's when the year that it's like whole the whole world peaked that year, bro. I'm telling you, actually did, man. But um, 
Yeah, man, it's too, it's fake, man. It's like, how do you take it seriously, man? It's like, it's, it's like, what the heck, man? To me, it's like a kid's dream, isn't it? It's one of them ones where your the kid's meant to believe it's real until you find out it's not. And then it's like, you don't talk about it ever again. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, man. Nah, I, I, I knew it was fake before I stopped watching it, innit, man? But I was just like, you know what, bro? It's just getting, it's... You knew it was fake before, but at least they tried to make it look real in it, fam. Now oh, it's like, yeah, 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 100%. Now they don't even care, man. It's just, it's, and he's like, you got no, no one's good with the mic. No one's, you ain't got no big personalities anymore. You ain't got no, you ain't got no Steve Austin. You ain't got no Rocks. You ain't got no, like, Mick Foley's. You ain't got no, like, Shawn Michaels. Like, Randy Orton's, like, old now, bro. I remember when Randy Orton burst into the scene. I remember like, he was a kid, fam. He was like the youngest champion, bro. Like he was a now, prick, man. Yeah, he was sick. Oh no, 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 no he, he was, was, but he's a prick, man. Yeah, no, he was sick, fam. Yeah, and then like he, I mean, he's old now, bro. You know what I'm saying? They all past their peak, fam. Seeing on all them, man. All these new guys are dead, man. Do you know what's funny to say that we're past its peak and it's not even real, but we're past its peak? That's funny, man. No, man, it's it's, it's no, it's not. It's just scripted, isn't it? Obviously, yeah, like, I know, I know. Bro. You still risk their lives to an extent. It's just scripted, isn't it? Because, you know, when they said it's fake, I thought they don't actually really get hurt when I first heard that it was fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or something like that. I'm surprised, though, but when you think about it, though, that's actually a masterpiece. You know why? For something that is world known to be fake and people actually still pay tickets to go and watch that, even though it's not a film, it's meant to be a sport, but a fake and scripted, and people couldn't do it. McMahon is the G, bro. He, fam, he could probably talk a whale out of water, fam. Like, he, he's just a G, bro. Like, what you're saying, fam, is so right, man. And he's still making money. I can, you, you, can get, you can get so much demand that people to go to go and buy their tickets, like they're going to watch a real life boxing fight. Bro, this ain't real, man. People put like, bets on as well, fam, and this thing is fake, fam. People put really? bets on you. No. Yeah. <laughs> You see, that's, that's a madness. But do you know what it is? Do you know why they could put bets on it? Because even though it's scripted, you don't know. You still don't know what's going to happen. Exactly, bro. Do you remember? You know, what, twenty WrestleMania thirty. Yeah? You remember Brock beat Undertaker, and also Undertaker's unbeaten. Like, he's undefeated at WrestleMania, and, like, and you could see the crowd's reaction was like, "It's like this famous reaction, it's like this black guy. He's just there like this." You know, it's like, it's fine, it's, it's scripted, fam. It's just hilarious, fam. But let me tell you something that's not scripted, fam. Oh, Shacheri, what's her name? Shakeri, Shakeri Richardson, bro. Oh, my God. Yeah, talk, to me, I don't, talk, talk to me about that. I don't even know anything about that, really. What smokes, bro. Oh, my days. You, was you on Twitter last night? Nah, nah, I wasn't. She got cooked, fam. Basically, she's a hundred million run in it, bro. She's Olympian in it, yeah. And she, um, she tested, she tested positive for a banned substance a couple months ago. I think it was weed in it, like THC in it. And um, <laughs> she got suspended in it. I don't know why I'm laughing. Like, basically, she, the reason why she was like, she tested positive, she was smoking weed because I think her, her mum passed away recently, you know. That's mad. And it was like, yeah, um, yeah, sad to hear that. And then on. Basically, there was a whole uproar on social media saying, "Oh, do you know what? Man, you should allow her, man. It's not like it's, it's not like she's taking a PED or nothing." Like, yeah. Performance arts, so, so like, her mom just passed away, and blah blah blah. People, and then other people on the side of the fence are like, "Oh no, she's a professional athlete. Like, you know, she should know better." Blah blah blah. Basically, this whole just create this whole social media storm. She's actually gone kind of big. Her profile's gone bigger over it, actually, as well. Oh, so it wasn't, and, um, it wasn't big before this then. She was known, but she wasn't that known. Do you know what I'm saying? I feel I like I see like I know about her now because of all that. Who is she like, raised was, for? Her profile is raised in it. Who is she raised? Who for? she raised? Uh, America, right. United States. Yeah, she was running against a bunch of Jamaicans in it. Fam, like you know the outcome of that man. She was gonna lose anyway. But it's the fact that she came last. So yeah, so basically she ran last. Is she is she black or white? She's black. Yeah. Yeah, type of Shikari Richardson, yeah, she's black in it. And then she's 21. She ran last night, 100 metres, and she finished ninth place. <laughs> ninth place. Ninth, after all that hit chat, bro, like, and the interview afterwards, man, just giving all the big and all that. Oh, she she one of them arrogant ones, then? I want to say arrogant, man, but... 
I don't want people, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want the females getting on to me, nothing like that. But I don't know. <laughs> that's why I'm asking you. Said she's giving all the big no, no, she's out. No, she's out there. She's very confident. She's out there. She's out there by herself, innit? Like, yeah. I'll send you. I'll send you a video of the interview, innit? So she's like, she saw on live TV and all that. She wasn't pissed though. She was just like, like, like I'm back. I'll be back. Da, 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 you know, like a ratchet southern, ratchet American stuff in her. But it's just the fact that all this hype around her and she got smoked like big time. I just found out. You need to you need to watch it, bro. I can't believe you haven't seen yeah, it. I'll check, I'll check that out. That's a bit mad though. But the thing with the only thing I've got a question about really though is like. I don't, I don't understand it because whenever we, when we think test for substances, we're always thinking about PED, performance enhancing drugs. But like this, this this weed thing, I was thinking, hold on a second though. I swear I've heard like boxing, who is apparently someone took a spiff before a boxing fight and they thought and it was all right. So why were they not, in, why were they not getting, getting called, called upon to say, why are you taking this? Why is it different? I don't know. How is weed? It doesn't, it no, that's what we said. That's what we, that's what we said last week because always lack is that and a bomb then been, um, they weren't in the squad, innit? Yeah. And I was like, but well, you know what, fam? I was like, I heard, no, it was like a, it was like a bullshit moment. But obviously, we know now, I think they both tested positive for, for the Rona, innit? Yeah. But um, I was like, no, what the people were saying, like, oh, <laughs> they both smoke like a fat spliff, innit, bro? Because it's stress all soon, if I'm against you, innit? And that's why the, <laughs> they feel the drug, feel the drug test, innit? You know what? I don't even, I don't even smoke weed in it. But I might need a spliff after today if we lose against Chelsea, which is likely to happen because I'm an Arsenal fan. For those that don't know, um, I've only got a fat spliff, bro. Because I think I might need one as well, bro. Because I don't hate Arsenal, bro. As a United fan, I, I actually don't hate Arsenal. Bro. I probably should, but I don't. But seeing you in this decline right now, bro, it's actually kind of sad, isn't it? That's how you know we're in decline. The fact that you feel that you don't, you know, if everyone's like, you pity you. Yeah, well, I like, we pity you, fam. Like, you know, the team's above you. Like, we just pity you, man. Yeah. Even the, even the team below us pity us. That used to be great, bro. It's like, if you, like, you ain't seen Jackie. I don't know if you've seen Jackie Brown, isn't it, fam? It's like Samuel Jackson and uh, Robert De Niro in a car, in it, man. And Samuel Jackson looks at De Niro and just like, your ass used to be great, man. And he just shoots him. <laughs> That's why I look at Arsenal, bro. It's like it used to be like early early two thousands, early two thousands, mid two thousands. United and Arsenal fan. Even we dropped off as well, man. But you know what, man? We'll talk about that for another time, bro. Because it's game day, man. Game day. Yeah, that was that was that was so obviously yeah, guys. Thanks. So we were we're back. We were back this week. That was yeah. It was a bit like it's a bit light today. It was no like there was just you know just a little, little catch up and then see what's happening. But yeah, guys. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, the show obviously will be on YouTube as you know, and it'll be on Spotify and everything as normal. And yeah, guys, we'll see you. Um, we'll see you next week. Just commencing tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.